A rich calcium mixture can aid the growth of vegetable plants very much. It's majorly responsible to promote flowering and fruiting on a plant. As though it's a trace element, still it's extremely important. In this video, we will see how calcium helps our plants, what organic sources we can use to add calcium in the soil, and some side effects of calcium at the end. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Calcium is an essential plant element. After NPK elements, the most important nutrient is the calcium that is required in small amount, but its role is the most important. Calcium is like the cement of the plant body. Plant cells are connected with each other with the calcium element. In simpler words, without calcium, no plant can stand or grow at all. Its deficiency appears with several fatal diseases like blossom and rot, curling leaves, root rot, black spots, and tip burns. So, a good calcium source is the need of all plants. A calcium-rich mixture provides us many benefits, let's talk about them shortly. One benefit of calcium is that it supports the flowering and fruiting of a plant, especially in tomatoes and peppers, less calcium in the soil can appear with such a spot on the fruit, it's called as blossom and rot. It's very common, but if your soil is calcium enriched, not this problem will be solved, but the whole flowering and fruiting stage will go very smoothly, more flowers will appear, flowers will convert into fruit without dropping. Another benefit of calcium for plants is that it helps in root growth. Calcium promotes root growth by enhancing the cell division in the roots tips. This thing ultimately results in better plant growth. Another calcium used for plants is that it's a stress reducer. Plant stress is like too much moisture or conditions like drought or sudden temperature fluctuations etc. All are a form of stress on a plant and with calcium, plant will be able to bear these changes more efficiently. So isn't that amazing? Here you can also subscribe to our channel. Calcium use also improves the nutrients intake of a plant, means a plant will be able to absorb nutrients better from the soil. Because sometimes we use fertilizer and wait for the results, but they never appear. That's because the nutrients are just lying there in the soil, plant isn't absorbing them better. So here calcium can fix this. A calcium-rich mixture is also helpful to prevent diseases. With calcium, a plant maintains a stronger immune system and results into a disease-resistant plant. So again, calcium is very useful. One calcium use for plants is that it's used in wound healing. In case of a plant injury, like a broken branch or an eaten leaf, calcium is used to heal the wound. To get the benefits of calcium, we have to get a good calcium source that we can use for plants and make the soil calcium-enrich. The first source of calcium for plants is the bone meal. It's a fertilizer made from bones of dead animals. Bone meal is full of calcium. It absorbs better into the roots. You can use up to 2 tablespoons of bone meal powder in the soil of a 10 inches pot. Use once or twice a month. Video on bone meal and its benefits is added in the description box. Follow that to learn the whole about this fertilizer. The most effective source of calcium for plants is the eggshells. They break down in the soil slowly but works very efficiently. The calcium of the eggshells will dissolve with the water and get into the roots. To use eggshells, wash them and dry them in the sun, then crush them in such a powdered form. Now you can use up to a tablespoon of eggshells in the soil of a 6 to 8 inches spot. In the ground, you can use more. Don't use more than once a month. It's just a trace element required only in a small amount. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Another free source of organic and natural calcium for plants is the milk. Milk have a lot of calcium. You can dilute it with 10 parts of more water and then use it for your plants. 100 ml of this liquid is enough for a 5 inches pot just once a month. Another organic source of calcium is the gypsum. It's an organic fertilizer rich in calcium. It makes the soil loose and salt free. Video on gypsum uses for plants is added in the description box. You can follow that. 1 tablespoon of gypsum is enough for a 10 inches pot once a month. You can also buy gypsum from the description box link. Wood ash is also another organic and free source of calcium for plants. You can use only 1 tablespoon of wood ash in a 10 inches pot every month. Wood ash is a very useful thing for plants. You can learn in depth about wood ash from the description box. Another source of calcium is the baking powder. It's calcium bicarbonate. It's not organic but works very well. Around half a tablespoon is enough for a 10 inches pot. Use only once a month. It's also added in the description box to buy. You can also use limestone fertilizer. It's a calcium rich fertilizer. It's added in the description box to buy. Use only a tablespoon for a 10 to 12 inches pot only once a month. And do subscribe to our channel. Now the question is, does every plant requires calcium? Answer is yes. 
Every plant needs some calcium. Some plants likes more calcium. For example, tomatoes, peppers, leafy greens, etc. While some requires less. For example, blueberries, etc. Just follow a proper dose and your plants will be okay. It's better to use a balanced fertilizer with all the nutrients in it. Using calcium sources overly or in a wrong way can also trigger some problems, so let's know them. First of all, too much calcium in the soil raises its pH. That could be harmful. Soil pH should be between 6 to 8. Above or below this causes many problems, so be careful. Use lesser calcium. It's a trace element required only in a small amount. One side effect of too much calcium is the nutrients imbalance. An ideal soil media is that which contains all the plant nutrients, not only calcium. So it's better to also use other fertilizers like cow dung, rock phosphate, leaf compost, etc. A whole playlist covering organic fertilizers is added in the description box, you can follow that. If we use a fertilizer in an ideal amount, no side effects appears at all. So the answer is moderation. It's all about calcium uses for plants. Here is a video on nitrogen benefits for plants. Nitrogen is the most essential plant element. So follow this and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.